Hey everybody, Purple for the Ages coming at you from my primary location. How are you doing tonight? Well, evidently my mom isn't doing too well or wasn't doing too well. Uh, quick story is she uh, went and spent some time with my sister a couple of weeks and when she came back she wasn't feeling well and eventually spiked a temperature of 102.4 she was shivering she wasn't doing well she was very jaundiced um, I was thinking that she had a UTI uh, pushing fluids I gave her Tylenol but uh, what was it it was Tuesday night she was very uh, she was wasn't doing good so I called the the night nurse at our local um, doctor's office and she had said oh yeah just take her to a oh she must have a UTI take her to a ready med uh, we'll let you know and by the way she was going oh yeah take her to, to one um, three or four towns away how about one five or six towns away I'm like there's a ready med here we'll take her no 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 well that that says it's an hour and a half wait and I'm like yeah I don't think she can be in the car that long <laughs> so we're thinking it's a UTI. They, they're going to do a stick test, and I didn't know what a stick test was. So um, as I was driving down the road, something other strange happened was uh, she started moaning in pain. And she's 87 years old, and she's moaning. I'm like, Mom, Mom, do you hurt? And she's she was like, okay, all right, uh, what's going on? And she did that again. You know, we're driving down the road. Uh, uh, Mom, do you hurt? She's like, so I said, forget this. We're not going to do a stick test. We're going to go to the ER, and they're going to do all the labs and do all the stuff. And that's what we did. I banged the left. We went to the ER. I wheeled her into the ER, and we uh, found out that she, they did a bunch of tests. They did the CT scan, and they found out a couple of things. She had a gallstone in one of her bile ducts. Now, um, I, I know you haven't told you this. Uh, Mom had had uh, her gallbladder out and her gallbladder tube to the gallbladder out so uh, but the infection was in that area and they needed to get that bile duct unblocked because it was um, giving her a uh, massive infection and um, she was septic she had uh, basically an infection in her blood so it was a blood infection that was the ancillary result of that bile duct being blocked so they went in Oh, they, they couldn't do the, the surgery. They actually had to do surgery to get that stone out of her, her gallstone out of her bile duct. So what they did was the, uh, the doctor was really smart. You know, they couldn't do the procedure at that hospital, but they didn't have a bed at the bigger hospital. So she had mom transported to the bigger hospital. They did the surgery and an hour in recovery, and then they transferred her back to the smaller hospital, which had a bed which was good. Uh, there's a, a couple stories behind there, but <laughs> I'll sum up. Uh, so the surgery, surgery was a success. They managed to put in, they managed to put a stent in to that bile duct so that the gallstones won't, won't get stuck uh, in there. And what they also did uh, was they started her on uh, IV antibiotics, bo both for the post-operative procedure and because she still was septic. She still had a um, uh, blood infection. So Wednesday, that was Wednesday. So Wednesday night, they're like, they're treating her with IV antibiotics and she's in a hospital bed. She looks much better uh, as of Wednesday evening. She started to regain her normal color uh, and uh, she was very surprised that the surgery wasn't pain after surgery wasn't painful I'm like okay yeah because you just had a stone removed and you probably had that stone in there a while making you in pain <laughs> um, yeah but they weren't okay so today is Saturday August 20th 2022 and what they did was uh, they went in, oh, I'm sorry, what they did was they they had sent her blood out every day to the lab, one, to measure uh, how septic she was, how, uh, how, how infected it was, and two, to keep on trying to identify the, um, the pathogen, uh, what is, what type of infection it was, what little bugo was in, buggos were in there. So they finally identified it yesterday evening and started her on a second antibiotic. So when I walked in today, uh, she had two antibiotic IVs uh, going into her. And of course, you can't you can't just stop uh, you can't stop an antibiotic. You have to go through the as you know you know this. You have to go through the entire course. And then she had the second one to supplement. So um, they're really trying to knock this back. I think the first 
antibiotic was trying to keep it at bay, and the second antibiotic is now ho hopefully going to knock it out of her system. But <clears throat> as uh, they've told me, she still has some days to go before she gets weaned off of Because it's an antibiotic, you have to run the course. So, <laughs> that's been my week. Um... So it's been quite a ride, and I'm hoping that um, hoping that mom gets better. Um, she seems better. She was sitting up today. I guess the doctor said, enough of the bed, get in the chair, watch TV. So she was in the chair, and she's watching TV. So anyways, that is what I have. Um, but I know you guys have done prepping, and I have more prepper stuff to, to talk about. I bought a, a little carafe because I wanted to test out uh, keeping something warm in a carafe, and um, I'll give you that review in, in another video, but uh, I'll keep you guys up to date with what's going on with mom, and uh, it's been quiet here, too quiet. Uh, my dog is actually wondering if my mom is going to come back, so uh, I hope she's going to go back too, so uh, I have told my dog that uh, she, she's, she'll be back, she'll be back, she's just, she's just sitting in the, she's sitting at the human vet right now, so... Okay. All right. I hope this finds you well. All right. Have a good evening. Have a good rest of the weekend. Thanks. Bye.